Welcome to Bible Reading with Turtle Burger. My name is Brittany. This is a new channel all about my daily Bible study. I am not a Bible scholar or anything. I will just be reading and not um, inserting um, things I don't know about. <laughs> I am following along with the Olive Tree Bible software, which you can find for free on most devices. So, Today, day one, I will be reading from Hebrews 2, verses 5 through 18, and Romans 15, verses 1 through 13. I will put these scriptures on the screen, and we will also end with a verse of the day. Dear Lord, thank you for your word, and may it open our hearts and minds. In Jesus' name, amen. So I will be reading from the New International Version. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 5. Jesus made fully human. It is not to angels that he has subjected the world to come, about which we are speaking. But there is a place where someone has testified. What is mankind that you are mindful of them, a son of man that you care for him? You made them a little lower than the angels. You crowned them with glory and honor and put everything under their feet. In putting everything under them, God left nothing that is not subject to them. Yet at present, we do not see everything subject to them, but we do see Jesus, who is made lower than the angels for a little while now crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. In bringing many sons and daughters to glory it was fitting that God for whom and through whom everything exists should make the pioneer of their salvation perfect through what he suffered. Both the one who makes people holy and those who are made holy are of the same family. So Jesus is not ashamed to call them brothers and sisters. He says, I will declare your name to my brothers and sisters. In the assembly, I will sing your praises. And again, I will put my trust in him. And again, he says, here am I and the children God has given me. Since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity so that by his death he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is the devil, and free those who all their lives were held in slavery by their fear of death. For surely it is not angels he helps, but Abraham's descendants. For this reason he had to be made like them, fully human in every way, in order that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in service to God, and that he might make atonement for the sins of the people. Because he himself suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who were being tempted. The next reading is Romans 15 verses 1 through 13. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves, each of us should please our neighbors for their good, to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself, but as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide, we might have hope. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the Jews on behalf of God's truth, so that the promises made to the patriarchs might be confirmed, and moreover, that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, Therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles, 
I will sing the praises of your name. Again it says, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Let all the peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will spring up, one who will arise to rule over the nations. In him the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. That concludes today's Bible reading. I'd like to leave you with a verse of the day from Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If you enjoyed this Bible reading, I invite you back for day two of our five-day comfort from God series.